In this problem, we're told a car is stopped for a traffic signal. When the light turns green, the car accelerates, increasing its speed from 0 to 5.2 meters per second in 0.832 seconds. What are the magnitudes of A, the linear impulse, and B, the average total force experienced by a 70 kilogram passenger in the car during the time the car accelerates? So I drew the before and after, right? So before we have this car, it's at rest, right, with a person in it. 0.832 seconds later, they're going to be traveling at 5.2 meters per second. So that's basically what's going on. So let's just go ahead and start with the first part. So for A, what we're trying to do is go ahead and solve for the linear impulse. So basically, we denote impulse by I. And so you need to know that I is equal to the change in momentum. So what is momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. Okay, so it's mass times velocity. And so we want to find the change in it. It's just going to be mv final minus mv initial, right? Because the mass seems constant. So the only thing that changes is the velocity. Right, and so it's just gonna be the final momentum, which is this minus the initial, right? That, that gives you the change. So it's just gonna be m times v final minus v initial, right? All I did was factor out an m. So if m equals the change in momentum, right? It's equal also equal to the impulse. So we gotta solve this formula in order to solve, right? So i is just gonna be equal to the mass, right? So in this case, we're talking about the passenger, right? So the mass of the passenger, right, is 70 kilograms, okay? So if we wanna find uh, the linear impulse, right? So it's the mass. 70 multiplied by uh, v final which is 5.2 minus v initial so initially it's at rest right we're just following this formula so minus zero really it's just really just 5.2 so i or the impulse if you go ahead and do this right plug it in 70 times 5.2 you're going to get 364. so 364 and then the units are kilogram meters per second so this on top right so because this is in kilograms and then this is in meters per second. So just kilogram meters per second. That's going to go ahead and be your answer to the first part. So this is the linear impulse, right? So this is A. Now let's do B. So for B, what we're trying to do is solve for the average total force experienced by the 70 kilogram passenger in the car during the time, right? It accelerates. So how do we solve this? So for this one, you need to know, right, that there's like different ways you can write this formula, but essentially what we're doing is solving for the average force, right? That's what we want to find. And it's basically equal to the change in momentum over the change in time, right? So keep in mind what the change in momentum is. It's just the impulse. And we know the impulse, right? So it's just going to be the impulse, which is 364. And then you're dividing by the change in time. So that's just the time it takes, right? In this case, it's just 0.832. So 0.832, right? This is actually really easy. So 364 divided by 0.832, you'll get 437.5. So 437.5, and then the units are just kilogram, right? Keep in mind, all we're doing is dividing by another seconds, because this is kilogram meters per second, and then this is a second, right? So it's just kilogram, kilogram meters per second squared. So, right, and then keep in mind, this is just going to be newtons, right? So, yeah, all this is just newtons, right? So 437.5, and then it's newtons. So 437.5 newtons, that's going to go ahead and be... F average or the average total force experienced by our passenger. So 437.5 newtons is your answer to B, and your answer to A is 364 kilogram meters per second. But yeah, so hopefully you found this useful.